but you can't let social media gas you up to lose. What's up everybody, it's your girl B. Octavia, and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I like to cover various things, including street legends, current events of whatever topic, the music industry, etc. Bottom line, I'm always going to tell y'all exactly how I feel, and I'm going to get to the point. Furthermore, I feel like I'd be the one to say what everybody thinking or what everybody is afraid to say for whatever reason it could be you scared to say it because of backlash that you're gonna get or anything right well that's not me today we will be talking about shikari richardson and this is gonna be a call them out and i'm gonna tell you why I'm calling Shikari out and I'm gonna also tell you what rubbed me the wrong way now <clears throat> it's always a build-up for me I don't just go off of one thing from somebody you got to show multiple things for me to really um, for me to really judge your character or for me to really gauge you as a person I seen her run the first time she did extremely well and in that time, she was going through the loss of her birth mother. Usually when a person says that they haven't been raised by their birth mother or something along the lines of that, the whole world instantly was rooting for her for a lot of different reasons. She's an African-American young woman who can run extremely fast. And the whole world felt like this would be a new generation of flojo she rose to fame in 2019 she broke a record at the louisiana state university and all the way up to this point when she was being focused on she excelled shortly after that the olympics was about to be underway and it came out that shikari was smoking weed and it came back in the lab test so what does that mean that means that you are automatically out of the race now a lot of people hated on biden for you can hate on biden for a lot of different things right at this moment in time that i won't get into in this video but I do agree with him when he says the rules are the rules. A lot of people were saying just let her run, it's just weed. <sighs> You're not teaching her structure if you still let her run. You're not teaching her the way of life if you still letting her run. You're not. So rules are rules. I do agree with that. Sometimes people think the power of social media can make companies and organizations do anything that they want just by pressuring them, let her run, let her run, and it's not going to happen like that, you know? You can sign petitions and every sort of document that you want to. You can protest the Olympics or do a strike on the Olympics, you and your friends and your community and stuff, but bottom line an athlete is an athlete are we talking about an athlete or a regular person she is an athlete she already knew what she was getting herself into it's a different scenario if it's um it's a different scenario if you're not going into the profession of being a track star you're not thinking of the idea of the olympics you're not going through the procedures but if you are going through the procedures and the, the proper protocol to be an athlete it takes focus it takes determination and a lot of people can't do it a lot of people can't do it only because they don't like structure and they don't like rules 
but I do respect her for coming out and being vocal that time and saying, yes, I own up to it, I fess up to it, you know, I'll just learn from my mistakes, etc. But boy, I don't know what then got to her head. I don't know if it's social media. I know that's one huge part of it, but you can't let social media gas you up to lose. This is my thing. It was said a little while back that she would be running in this 100 meter dash and then the 200 meter dash, right? Everybody was excited, let's go. And from that point that it was announced that she was going to run, she was subliminally talking mess about the people that would be running with her and bigging herself up a little too much. And when I say a little too much, I mean it's too much. And we can just keep the a little bit off of it. You know what I mean? Right before the race, it was maybe a couple days, she got her nails done, she got her hair done. And this is why I really just don't approve of all of that. Like the nails, the hair, the lashes, because it really blocks your focus. And you should be training or something instead of sitting in a chair getting all of that done you should be focusing on something that has to do with what you have to do in the next few days we're not getting ready for a prom we're not getting ready for you to sing we damn sure not getting ready for you to dance we're getting ready for you to run i don't understand and, and that's, it's a huge difference. I've seen people bringing up Flojo. Flojo would never hashtag and rest in peace to Flojo. But Flojo would never. She would never, first of all, knowingly being an athlete, take herself out of the race. That's number one. Number two. Flojo would never let her hair, nails, and makeup distract from her running. It has to be a balance. You can't have on all that shit and convince me that that's not why you lost. And there's several reasons why you not only lost, but you backed out of the 200 meter dash. What was the point? of being so cocky on social media if you couldn't back it up with your performance this is your profession and people always saying that somebody trying to turn their back on shikari ain't nobody turning their back on you but i definitely want you to do better i definitely want you to be humble it's not even to the point where i can say remain humble i want you to be I want you to first get humble, and then I want you to be humble, and then I want you to remain humble. You got to start from somewhere. But no. She finishes the 100 meter dash, and I'm not even going to keep mentioning last, but that's what she finished as. And you lose, you lose, but to have poor sportsmanship, that is just embarrassing to whoever raised you. It's embarrassing to come on live TV after you do that. Be cursing. My mother would kill me. My grandmother would kill me. My peoples would kill me. To be cursing on live TV. And still bigging up yourself in this cocky way. But you didn't perform though. What was that? I mean, it was almost like she should have did that interview at the start of it. So then I really could have felt bad for her at some point when she did finish last. I could, I can't, how do you, how do you run the first one 
you decide to back out you do this interview however that timeline went this the second two the 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 two last things however that went how do you just back out after you say all that and you don't want to prove that oh i was just warming up y'all i got it she was saying stuff about the jamaicans before but she was saying stuff after and they performed they excelled where were you where was your mind where's your spirit do you love doing this or not and it's a perfect time to really figure that out. Snoop Dogg's son figured it out around her age. He was in football, and I'm mad at him for that too. But in, anyways, he was in football, and now he's in modeling full time. So it has happened before. But I think that in that case too, social media just bigged his head up. And he like, look, I don't have to put myself in harm's way or even do something I really like doing. I can do something that I know is going to make me money because look at all of this attention I'm getting. That's a part of it. You become vain with all of that. You can't be a sore loser. You can't show that. It's of poor taste. What she should have did was thank everybody for the support vow to work harder and to really focus her mind and body to do what she needs to do and she also should have showed some type of sportsmanship to the young kids that's watching all across the nation she should have thanked the runners that were running beside her she should have thanked everybody or at least said, I appreciate the experience with y'all. Something nice. I hate when people act like they can't do that. You can do that. It's called putting your pride aside and saying what you really want to say. Because if you really wanted to be a nice, upstanding young woman, you would show that. Time after time, she's showing me that she does not have it in her right now and it's not the time all eyes are on you like Usain Bolt and he not even an African American she still has the opportunity to turn all of this around but she just gotta stop she didn't got comfortable after she apologized for smoking weed she didn't got comfortable and she feel like she can say anything on social media and it will be accepted. I'm not accepting that from you. How you not going to be embarrassed when you don't qualify for the Olympics and you go to the ESPYs, but you embarrassed that you was last in a 100 meter dash and you don't run again? I would tell my daughter this same thing. It would not change. And matter of fact, it's not no way in hell. Guardian, parent, or not. Coach, you're running. It's no backing down. We here. We are here. Some people, they get one chance and then that's it. They meet their demise. Do you know how many people would love to have a second chance would love to prove themselves again and honestly flojo if i was if i was shikari flojo would be the top tier of inspiration and guess what she wasn't even able to completely finish her life and to completely finish her career as a track star but she never quit yeah, she had beautiful hair. Yeah, she had the nails. But it was never a distraction. Every time I see Shikari, that's really all I can see. It's a less and less humble person every time she shows up. 
it's not the time and it's too fast okay it's too fast to get big headed it's too quick it's happening too quick and it's not necessary you're not even at the top you're not even at the top yet and you showing that you you don't respect the people that's running with you you a sore loser when you had another opportunity it's just a mess and i do wish her the best i do ain't nobody turning their back just because we telling her or a certain amount of people is telling her what they really feel and great advice that she should take it's not the time to be sensitive we talk about cancel culture we talk about sensitivity in the community let's talk about sensitivity in the black community too ain't nobody turning they back bruh ain't nobody turning they back but i'd be damned if i let her keep going on and i not say nothing as elders that's our responsibility whether they want to take it or not you see she didn't want to take that nice lady's advice the nice lady that was on tv she didn't want to take that advice and that was recently come on shikari you got to turn it around deactivate your accounts or if you don't want to do that have somebody else run it and you don't say nothing that's outside of promoting products getting a little money on the side promoting your brand and just keep it moving it don't have to be negative because my thing is when somebody keeps showing me a negative spirit i'm just going to stay away from it all together period you see michael phelps he first of all you got to run real fast after smoking some weed michael phelps damn near had to retire and michael phelps can swim way faster than you can run and he damn near had to retire he just now recently came back. And then he got a kid and everything like that. Okay? So be humble. It's people that literally was born to be in the Olympics and born to run and born to swim and born to do all of that. But you you losing you losing me. Okay? You losing me at the point where I just want you to stop stop with the attitude you're in a better position than a lot of people yes you are being judged yes you are being looked at but isn't everybody for just about everything they do or don't do come on stop being so defensive her and everybody else they're saying oh you're being too hard on her she's 21 listen if I was 21 and an athlete, come on. It's it come on. Ain't nothing should nothing make you stop. Especially people that's telling you something right. Hello. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on Miss Shikari. Again, I do wish her the best. Anybody that interprets this wrong, you can replay the video, run that back, put the captions on there is going on the screen and you can really gauge what i'm saying don't come at me wrong this is with love it's your girl b octavia leave your thoughts in the comments below and i will see y'all in my next video